Uh, namaste everyone. Uh, this is Napneet. Welcome to my channel Cloud and Coffee with Napneet. So in this in this video, we are going to learn about how you can get started with your AWS certified AI practitioner. In this my past video, I have made a video uh, where I will be talking around how I have prepared for this certification and how uh, how I'm able to uh, clear this this exams right. So this is this is a continuation of the same video in the video in the previous video i have asked hey i'm going to make a bunch of videos around this topic so this help you to go and clear your exam as well so this is my first first uh, uh, video in this series so in this uh, you know uh, over upcoming videos i will be making um I, over the period of time i'll be making all uh, like you know different topics uh, different videos around this topic so uh, here is our agenda. So I will be not going through the agenda. So I, I'm not, I don't want to. I don't want to make this video super super lengthy. I want to keep this video under ten minutes, so you will be easily able to go and uh, refer when you will be going for your for your examination. And again, right? I want to keep the video short, so this way you easily when you're going for your exam, you can just watch these videos. Uh, you know. Uh, and uh, and learn around this concept so this is this video is primarily more around the more around uh, you know uh, notes which i have prepared and uh, i will be talking to you around uh, uh, and again the purpose of this video is not to make you expert in this one but have a sufficient knowledge so you can able to go and clear your exam so in this video i will be going and talking around the definition of ai ml dln generative ai so if you are hearing this very first time, uh, all all this very first time, I'm sure you've been. If you're watching this video, you've been already been hearing this term uh, so often. But if you even even if you're starting from very basics, you are this is your first time even you know trying out something around uh, around uh, this term that will be that will be helpful for as well too. So let's get started. So you must be hearing this term almost every day, right? We talk around the artificial intelligence, we're talking around the machine learning, we're talking around the deep learning, and then now from last two years, we all be hearing around the generative AI thanks to the ChatGPT. So there are these are the brain behind all the amazing techs uh, which we use every day. Whether we've been using our emails, we've been using our laptops, we've been using our phones, when we're using subscribing to Netflix, uh, you know. Uh, shopping within within the amazon anything which we do in our day-to-day -day work uh this or even you know you you watching this video so uh all this all this amazing things which we do every day all this this like this is there are some kind of a component of all this are there they're behind it and uh, so what exactly they are so don't worry, uh, I'm going to break it down for you in a simple terms, okay? So let's get started with artificial intelligence. So let me read this, this for you and then we can go in and try to understand. So AI is a broad concept for creating a machine or a software that can perform a task or, or you can say a very specific task that typically require a human intelligence. Let me give you an example, okay? So you've been doing a repetitive task let's say you are a uh, you have you are uh, in back back in the days you have to write something you have to been writing a letter right uh, you will be writing a letter and you will be sending those letters to thousands of people right and then you have to write the same set of letters but you will be changing the name and address but the letter the, everything will uh, within the later will remain same what if you have to replicate this task right again so understand so you've been doing a repetitive task now you have provide some kind of intelligence or you have built something a tool where you will be having same set of instruction but you will be just changing the name and address where the person will be changing so that that also can be in uh, in artificial intelligence. So this is a simple example of an artificial intelligence, but they are like that can be simple and that can be very complex, right? Where hey, when I'm watching the movies, how you will be start recommending more and more movies to you. So those more more kind of an advanced AI. So imagine you have a robot a robot uh, friend, and this robot can help you things like cleaning your room. 
help you to playing your favorite song it help you even to talk to you like a person that robot is powered by something called ai and that's what this definition is all about ai is a broad concern of creating machine or software that can be performed very specific tasks deeply required or uh, typically required a human intelligence right so ai in a broadest term it can be anything from a single program that help you to calculate number or advanced system like self driving car it used to solve problem you uh, recognize pattern and make decisions so ai is everywhere as i said earlier from your voice assistants like alexa google etc to recommending the pictures within the netflix right so in a short ai is like a machine brain that help computers to do task smartly sometime even better than human now let's move to the machine learning hey even before going into this one that's recognize remind me one thing right so when you will be appearing for an exam just keep this picture in mind where the ai sit which is like where the artificial intelligence sit sits where the machine learning sits where the deep learning sits and where the generative ai sits right so artificial intelligence on top thereafter we are having machine learning thereafter we are having this deep learning and at the end and we are having this generative ai this image will be will be helpful in order for you to understand right where all this lies so artificial in intelligence technically an abstract right of everything which we do so that i will be going in talking to you like you know you can you will be as name suggests like you will be providing an artificial intelligence to to a machine that's what the artificial intelligence is all about now let's go and talk around the machine learning so now we have a fair understanding around the uh, ai let's talk about the machine learning so you can think of ml is a special type of an ai there is a fun way to think about it imagine teaching a dog how to fetch a ball you throw it once it might not able to understand but when is when after a few times when you throw it and show them hey this is the ball you will be throwing them they start recognizing that pattern they grasp it hey this is the ball my owner is throwing it i have to go and grasp that ball so that's how it learn even our kids learn in the same same way so that's what the ml is is for the computer they get better at a task the more you show them the more the example they see the better they become at doing the things like recognizing picture translating languages etc but now but how does ml actually work it uses something called algorithm to identify pattern within the data right so algorithm is nothing but a step by step instructions that help the machine learning to learn and make decision and there are three main types of machine learning all right one is you're having this supervised uh, learning other one is unsupervised learning the third one is enforcement learning so the first let's understand with the supervised learning as the name suggests there are some kind of supervision is required so in supervised learning what we're doing is we are providing something called label data so what does the label data mean is how, when when i have to teach my kid something about it hey this is cat right initially when they born we how we teach them we show them a picture this is cat then what we doing is we are labeling them hey this is cat this is apple this is phone etc so what we doing is we are teaching them by labeling the object right so they understand it now more once they start becoming much more you know once they start growing up uh we give them puzzles but we do not tell them hey this is piece one of the puzzle this is piece two of the puzzle this is piece three of puzzles so there is no labeling it as such however what they do is they try to recognize the pattern hey maybe this is the color uh this is the shape right etc so they recognize multiple patterns based on those patterns they make decision and start putting together and they learn okay this is what we call it supervised learning so in a supervised learning what we do is the machine figure out without being able to told the right answer 
it is like exploring a puzzle as i said earlier so now the third word is the reinforcement learning so reinforced law in re uh, reinforcement learning again okay, uh, is a in this learning uh, what we do is we say hey if you are making a uh, if you are if you are making a right decision we will be reward you if you are making a bad decision we will be a uh, kind of you know uh, punish you right so we will having this reward and penalty kind of a uh, or learning so that's what the reinforcement learning is so this is where machine learn by trial and error it performs some operations and it say hey this operation is not look right then it do something different and right so that's how it will be learning so like uh, video video games right when our kids start playing the video game sometime you get a reward if you if you write it and if you do not able to make it right you will be getting the penalty if you are making the wrong choices so over the period of time right when you start playing this video games over the period of time then you know hey there's going to be someone is coming if you have a play the counter strike right uh, you know uh, someone is coming from it and then you will be know how to get rid of it so that's how the uh, this enforcement learning works so machine learning is all about teaching computer to learn from the data and improve over the period of time now let's move to a uh, now, uh, now, now, now let's move to a deep learning. So deep learning or DL is like supercharged version of, version of machine learning. Remember how machine learning like teaching a dog to fetch a ball, while deep learning is like teaching the whole team of a dog to do the whole tricks and that to be once, right? So here what makes deep learning really cool? It mimics the way human brain works by using layer uh, of interconnected nodes called neurons so this neurons help the machine understand the more complex pattern in a data the more the layer the deeper the learning is and that's why we call it deep learning right so think of each neuron as an helper one neuron might be able to recognize the edge of a picture while another re uh, neuron recognize that uh, color and by combining all these neurons, the computer can recognize something as complex as face. So deep learning is, is especially powerful in a field of computer visions, right? That is machine able to see and recognize an object or spe speech recognition where it hears something and able to provide you, uh, you know, a response on top of it or natural language processing or NLP where you will be typing something and able to understand what is context behind what you're typing around it right so so it gave a computer a super sense where it able to hear you it able to um, read you and like and then it able to perform some kind of an operations right and once that's what we the deep learning is all about now let's go to the last section of this video that is generative ai so generative AI is made up of terms called generative plus AI. So it's an intelligent, uh, artificial intelligence, but it able to just not able to perform some tasks what we've been doing within the AI space. This is able to generate the stuff for us. So generating AI is, so generative AI is some is powered by something called foundation model, right? And the foundation model think of is a model which is trained on the large corpus of the public data. So we are having two kind of a foundation model. One is large language model that understand and generate human like text. There is another model called it diffusion model that create a realistic image by transforming random noise and making it meaningful pictures. So when you ask an AI to generate a story, draw an image or even write a code, it uses this pre-trained model to give you current and meaningful result it's like giving the computer a huge set of a tool and it know how to use those tools to make a creative uh, you know uh, make use them in a creative way so that's what is all about generative ai so as i said uh, this video is to help you to understand very basic, basic definition around all this uh, ai ml and uh, hmm, 
and uh, AI ML deep learning and the generative AI in the next video we are going to go deep around each topics okay so thanks thank you and we'll see you in the next video take care bye